In this video, we will look at how we can use the order of operations in problems that involve absolute value. When we do order of operations, we keep in mind PEMDAS, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, to decide the order to solve a problem. When this problem has two sets of absolute values, those absolute values we treat like a parenthesis. We do not make everything positive until the absolute value is completely simplified. So let's see if we can simplify inside these absolute values first, and then at the end of that, we will make everything positive, or the distance from 0. Order of operations says that we should do exponents first. That would be 4 squared in the first absolute value, and negative 5 squared in the second absolute value. It's important to note that if the negative is not in parentheses, it does not get squared. This means the opposite of 4 squared, while the second example, the squared being on the parentheses, will square the entire thing. So we now have 1 plus 3, absolute value of the opposite of 4 squared, which is 16, minus negative 8, plus 2, absolute value, of 3 plus, and now we square the whole thing, negative 5 squared is 25. Continuing inside those absolute values, we'll do the adding and subtracting. We add the opposite in the first absolute value to get 1 plus 3, absolute value of negative 8, plus 2, absolute value of 28. Now you'll notice each of these absolute values has been completely simplified. So now that the absolute values have been simplified, before we do anything with what's outside of the absolute values, we're ready to take those absolute values, find the distance from 0, or make the numbers positive. Negative 8, the absolute value is positive 8. Plus 2 times, the absolute value of 28 is still positive 28. And I'll write those now with a curved parenthesis as the absolute value is done, and we just have to continue working through the order of operations, multiplying from left to right. So first, we'll do the 3 times 8 to get 24, plus 2 times 28. Next, we'll do the 2 times 28, finishing off the multiplication to get 56. And then finally, we can add and subtract from left to right to get 25 plus 56 equals our final solution. 25 plus 56 is 81. So the big thing to remember with absolute values is first work them out inside completely to a single number, and then take the absolute value, the distance from 0, making it positive. Once we've done that with any absolute values, now we look at the problem as a whole and continue working through the order of operations.